Hi mama, welcome to the postnatal core routine. Today's routine will help you build a strong foundation of strength and stitch your core together. It's very important that you do not rush your recovery, so please wait at least six weeks after birth or when you get clearance from your doctor before you begin any core exercises. If you're good to go, come to lie down on your back facing the back of your mat. So turn around, roll onto your side as a safe way to protect your core, lie down to a fetal position, and then roll down onto your back. Very good. Place your hands on your lower belly so your fingertips barely touch. Take your feet flat on the mat, about hip distance apart, and notice how naturally there's going to be space underneath your lower back. For these pelvic tilts, you're gonna work with that space. So tilt your pelvis so your pubic bone and your ribs come closer together and your lower back will flatten down on the mat. And you should feel your core firm up underneath your hands, even if it's just a little bit. Inhale to release this pelvic tilt. Your belly will rise into your hands. That space will open up underneath your back. And then exhale to tilt your pelvis. Belly contracts, back flattens out. Inhale to release, belly rises. Exhale, pelvic tilt, flatten out your back. Inhale to release, belly rises. Exhale, pelvic tilt, flatten out your back. Just a few more times with your breath. Hold your next pelvic tilt with your belly firm and your back flat on the mat and take your hands down by your sides for some bridge lifts. So keep the pelvic tilt and slowly peel your hips and spine up off the mat. You're gonna feel weight transferring to your shoulders, that's good. Even the weight out in your feet and keep your knees pressing forward. With all of this engagement, slowly lower down the same way you came in. Upper back lowers, middle back, lower back, then hips. Then you'll release the pelvic tilt. Big inhale. Exhale, pelvic tilt, then peel your hips and spine up off the mat, knees pressing forward. Big breath in at the top. Exhale to slowly release your spine back down, then your hips, then release the pelvic tilt. Big inhale at the bottom. Exhale, pelvic tilt and bridge lift. Inhale at the top. Exhale, lower the bridge, then finally release the pelvic tilt. Inhaling and your belly will rise. Exhale to release. Very nice, you're good. Relax for just a moment. And then when you're ready, we'll move on. Take your hands to your lower belly, find your pelvic tilt, and use this placement of your hands on your belly to remind yourself to keep this area firm and engaged. As if you are dragging your right heel on the mat, slowly push your right foot forward until it straightens out, and then slowly drag it back until your right foot is flat on the mat. Now the left side. Left leg extends out nice and straight, and slowly drag it back in. Now keep doing this alternating sides, moving slow and smooth and maintain the engagement in your lower belly the entire time. If you've done this video a few times and you're ready to move on to the next level, then follow the modification box and screen. But remember, do not rush your recovery. Doing so might extend your healing process. So this is where you practice patience.
just a couple more. And you're done. Hold your knees to your chest. Completely relax. Let everything go. Now the best way to sit up here in a postnatal world is to roll onto your side and then press yourself up. Doing this will help protect your core. Then make your way onto your hands and knees into a tabletop. From your tabletop, adjust the space between your hands and knees so you can find a modified high plank. Modify with your knees down on the mat and do your best to get a straight line from your knees to the crown of your head. So chances are you need to lift your head up in line with your spine. Take a big breath in. Then exhale to slowly lower everything down to the mat for a low cobra. Hands rest on the mat or hover just above. Now peel your chest up off the mat, neck in line with the spine, and breathe as you set your gaze just a couple inches out in front of you. Big inhale. Exhale to release and press back up into your modified high plank. So weight is in your knees and in your hands. Engage your belly, firm everything up around your core. Inhale in your modified high plank. Exhale to slowly lower back down onto the mat. Inhale, low cobra, peel your chest up. Exhale to release and press back up into your modified high plank. For one breath in, as you exhale, lower back down onto your belly. Just like that. Inhale, low cobra, peel your chest up. Exhale to release and then press back up into your modified high plank. And hold. Listen to your body and rest at any point. You can always come back to this routine multiple times in a week to build strength. From here, lower down to your forearms and set up a side plank with your right elbow down left hand to your left hip, and modify with your right knee down. Soften everything you don't need. The tension in your face, your eyebrows, your jaw. Breathe in and out through your nose. You're almost there. and then gently release to switch sides. Left elbow down, left knee down, right hand to your right hip. Neck is in line at the spine, breathe. Finish this routine strong and calm. Three, two, one. Gently release, then make your way to a child's pose and completely relax. Use this routine up to three times a week to build your strength. And check out the rest of my postnatal yoga series, including videos for neck and shoulder tension, a deeply relaxing restorative practice to release tension in your mind and body, and a full practice to get you back into your yogi flow. Mm -hmm.